much you guys got another video here for you now I noticed a few of you were going on about uh, C cleaner and uh, not wanting to use it anymore because of that scare and uh, you was asking about alternatives now you can use the cleanup tool which has been in Windows for many years you can see it here now the thing is you'd have to run this manually but you can set this up as a task scheduler and uh, make it run automatically and I'll show you how to do that in this video so you don't have to worry about it so let's take a look at how we can go about doing that so first off we're going to open up the command prompt as administrator so here we have our command prompt window you're going to want to type in here cleanmgr.exe space forward slash uh, s-a-g-e-s-e-t colon 112 and uh, what that's going to do is allow us to set up our settings to what we want to do so for instance if you want to do temporary setup files old check disk files setup log files uh, windows update cleanup if you want to do that and so on so we're going to clean all of these information here and just put ticks in them now you may want to keep some of these system uh, error memory dump files in case you've got issues but if you want to clean it this is what we're going to do here okay so we're going to clean up all this information so I'm just going to fill all these boxes recycle bin there we go and that's just about all of them there we go now click OK and we're pretty much set now we can run it from the command prompt if you want to but what I want to try and do here just remember that number we've set it as 112 okay because that will set a registry key up for us so I'm going to close the uh, command prompt off now and we're going to go down to the search again and type task and you can see here as soon as I put task in it comes up with a uh, task scheduler so we're going to click on this and open it up so here we are is our tool a lot of people don't even know this exists or even use it uh, but if you are a power user you might want to use it a bit more because it is a good tool uh, to set up so you can see here we're going to go to create basic task click on this one and uh, what we're going to do here is put in a name junk cleaner there we go uh, removes junk files that'll do so go next now you can set up your trigger when you want it to run daily weekly monthly whatever you want to do one time so I'm going to do this monthly go next and you can see the date is set for today and also you can get the time here so we can set the time up to whatever you like and you can synchronize this across uh, time zones pick your month that you want to do I'm going to do every single month because I want to do it all year round and you can pick your days here so depending on what you want to do the first and the last day that's what I'm going to do and we'll leave that as is go next start up a program that's what we want to do here so we're going to go ahead and push next again now we need to point to our program and we can browse and this is going to open me up in the Windows System 32 area so that's where we are we're in the Windows directory inside here we're going to go system32 and what you're looking for is the cleanup tool so just go down and look for the cleanup tool here there it is clean clean MGR click open now once you've got that open you can see the path here that's your path where that file is in the add an argument optional we want to add in our argument here which is the forward slash S A G E R U N colon one one two and this is gonna relate to the settings that we set up here, okay? That one one two. So go next and we can now finish. And there we go. We've now set up an automatic task for that um, cleanup tool to run. So you can see here is the actual tool here. If I click on run here, you'll see it run automatically here. There you go, it's done. And all them settings will automatically be run 
uh, once once a month uh, whenever you set yours up once a week whatever it is okay and that's pretty much it now if you want to change these settings here you can click on this uh, task we set up and you can make some changes to here if you want to so you can change whenever you want it to run you can change your actions you can see here this is the action if you want to change this you can put in loads of different switches inside here that you want to set up uh, to run whenever you want it to run and there's loads of them out there uh, that you can use uh, so it depends on what you want to set up okay but basically that's how you can do it you can set yours up how you like and check out the uh, options for the switches because there's quite a few of them uh, for this uh, program and you can see here I'm going to close this off we've got conditions settings it's quite an in-depth uh, program to set up so you can set whatever you like up inside here and that's pretty much it so that will just sit there and run in the background whenever it needs to run and it will start off and clean up all your junk files so no need to use uh, CClean or anything like that anyway that's just a quick video hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brotechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.